Well, well, what do we have here? Someone has moved into my valley, I see. Well, we're just gonna have to make it so he wants to leave. <laughs> Well, hello everybody, Halkon here, and this is a new series for FTB Horizons Daybreaker. This is going to be Season 2, and this will be Episode 1 of Season 2, and we have a brand new world, and unexplored, and I've got nothing. I just landed, and here we are. So what's different about Season 2? Well, I don't know. We'll throw some surprises. Season 1 ended because there was an update to the server. And they are now using 1.2. And I've run into some problems uh, getting my server to work correctly. And I don't think it has anything to do with the update. If I knew the problem, it would be fixed. I spent an hour trying to fix it, and I keep crashing every time I try to load into a server. So, instead of, like, demolishing stuff, I figured it was time for a new season. And here we are. First thing I'm going to do is find a place to live. And I don't think you want to see me walk around and break stuff. Because that's what everybody does when they start. They walk around and they break trees and they collect stuff and they try to find a place to live. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that without you watching me. Yeah, that's right. I don't want you to watch me. I can break stuff without you. That's right. Later. And we're back. And we stumbled upon a town. So, we are going to enter this town and do the thing that we do, which is plunder and take all. What's in here? What the heck is that? I have no idea what that is. Never seen that before. This be new. I'm about to find out if I can find the door. Where's the door? The door is under here? Oh, I found the door. What are you? What are you? Some kind of professional what? Oh, you need to go away. Profession description. You're an RF tools guy. What is this? Dimensional cross. What is this? Redstone lamp. Do they break? Oops. No, they don't. Give me that. I have no idea what this is. But it's mine. Uh, I wonder if I can break this. Without it blowing up. Nope, I'm gonna need a pick to break that. What about this? What are you? Sequencer. I'm probably gonna need a pick for that too. What is this floor? Dimensional blank block. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm taking more of that as soon as I make a pick. Anything in there? Nope. Oh, okay, here. And we might find a pick. Ah, uh, what's up, Kamasama? You are a yom. Yes, you are a yom. What's up, dude? You're the blacksmith? Hey, can I look in your chest? Oh, wrong key. I'll just change my buttons around. This is useless. Oh, well, those knowledge notes are kind of cool. And some bread. Hey, food. I am going to take your chest. Because that's what I do. I will consider it plundered. That's going to be dark. Everybody's running. What's in here? Oh, yeah. That's what I was looking for. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. I need a pick. Crap. I need a pick. Okay. So, let's go get some stuff. I need to get some wood quick. Oh, look, wood. Oh, there's some there. Pick this one up, and we're about to have spawns. Since we're about to have spawns, I need to pick a building. Uh, reading materials? No. We got something much more roomy. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna go ahead and cr crash in here. All right, so we've got some wood. 
checking. So here we go. We're making our first pick. And another achievement. I don't really want all these books, but whatever. Can you break these? Harvest book, yes. Gimme. I got it. I got it. Harvestable? Yes. Yeah, baby. Thank you. Gimme, gimme. This is awesome coldness. Right here. Stay in. What do you have inside you? Mm -hmm. Harvestable. Uh. Doesn't say it's harvestable. But it looks like it's breaking pretty easy. I got it. But we'll play in the church. Well, we'll have sponsors spawning now. That's going to make things a little different. I was like wondering where all the bad guys were. Where are the bad guys? They're not bad guys. Oh, look, bad guys. I see them right there. I got no weapons. I should probably made something. Oh, I have stone in here. Ha ha. Let's see. I'll take out the middle floor. Part of the middle floor. Yeah, that's it. Oh, there's a there's a cool volcano. Oh, look at the volcano. All right, I'm getting all excited and stuff. This is awesome. So, uh, we're stuck in this town. Monsters are now spawning. If you look at the mini-map, they're all over the place. That's awesome. And we're going to wait for daylight. Up your bees. And we're back. So, why well, I have found a home. I want to build here. It is really cool looking. So, I did. I'm looking for sheep. So, I think they just spawned in. I don't know. I'm looking for sheep to make a bed. So I can get back home in case I die. So, uh, yeah. Let me uh, kind of show you around a second. Get some sheep here. Sheep, 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 sheep. Die, sheep. Alright, I, I should have what I need. I do need to get some more wood. So I'm building into that mountain right there. The one that we're swimming towards. And... Uh, it's not really a mountain. It's a mesa, but we'll just call it a mountain. We're building into that place right there. Because it's got... Uh, it goes back. It looks like it goes back a ways. So it looks like you can just carve into it for a ways and be protected and all that fun stuff. So... Here is home. Whoops. Here you go. It is not much. It is a little room and a hallway. And some stuff and things. One of the most important things to do early on in a game is to make a bed. I have a bed. We'll also go in here. We're going to create a waypoint. New. Home. Safe. Close. This is it. I just wanted to show it to you. I'm going to be building into this side of this mesa, and that's what I'm doing. Pretty boring. We are going to get started on EE quick, because I've got some ideas, and I really, really, really want to get started. And I'm going to be building some stuff out here as well. I'll uh, be back soon, folks. BRBs. Okay, we're back. So... I was just playing around with this, and I didn't realize it until I started it, that uh, you get to do um, these quests in this book. This book being the Encyclopedia Aura. What I did was, I went into the two villages, and I found these items. These burning aura pumps, or nodes, and a cascading smelter. I found two sets. I found two villages. I got two sets. I go into these quests, and as I go into the quests and open them, it gives me stuff. So I've got two sets of 64 white crystals, and I also received, oh, I don't know how many I got. I think I had six. So I got uh, two sets of eight ore nodes, and I got 64 coal. That's pretty cool. And I was building this room to set them in, and I was like using the book to figure out, okay, how do I get white crystals? Well, it's good gold nuggets and iron to get white crystals, which I don't 
really have any of that right now because I haven't gone down far enough to find gold. I do have some iron. I got three, I think. <sighs> so I, I got four iron and I got some copper here too. Four copper. And there you go. And so I was going to set up the node here to smelt, start being my smelter because it's like free smelting. And I just have to make this room large enough to do that. Okay. So we have a smelter. I'm going to put the smelter right here. Okay. Three aura nodes, one burning aura uh, pump. When the aura falls, it creates energy. And it, and it can't go up unless you tell it to. So if I put the pump here, and I put one there, one there, one there, in theory, it should create a circle, and when it comes back around, it should do stuff and things here. Now, I need to get the crystals. I don't need all of them. I'm only going to take like 10. Let's see if I do this right. If I do that as 1,000, we're going to use 5. We'll start with 5. To make it work, I need to get, uh, we'll take the copper. Okay. If I toss down the ore over here, next to the smelter, and I toss down this here, it should burn and it's pumping the aura and it should be making this thing work okay so the progress is going up looks like about 200 and something for it to go up and then it creates the thing I might as well do all my ore I might as well, what else I got to throw down there either anything else uh, I could make some more coal but I don't need it at this point so I've got that and we'll throw this down now because this is going to go for 300 seconds. So for one coal, I'm going to get eight things smelted. And I'm going to have, uh, I don't know, I haven't even used a third of the time. There you go. That's what I wanted it for. That's an early game way to smelt ore, man. No kidding. And we're going to be working with that stuff some more. So I started building this over here. And this here is my path down. I don't, I don't have any torches yet. i got to make some torches. I think I have two. But I've got to give myself some light down there. I don't want to get surprised by bad guys. Apparently, I'm not healing. And I turned off a difficult life. Um, the mod. It doesn't seem to matter. I, I've been at max food a couple times since I've lost four hearts. So I'm not sure what's preventing me from healing. Which... I, I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, I think that's kind of cool. However, I do need to come up with a way to heal because I, I don't want to continually die and not have a way to come back to uh, to heal myself or, you know, be walking around at one heart for forever. Um, but that's it. So, well, I'm going to work on some more stuff. I'm going to go mining some more. I see, this thing is still going. It's awesome. And, and, and I'll BRBs uh, soon. And we are back. So I've made some improvements to the base. So uh, I finally found some diamond. Not very much. I found two. And some other stuff. And I had a creeper blow up on my front door. So I have replaced it with cobble, which is a little bit stronger than this cracked, uh, what is it? Oh, light gray stained clay. Yeah. And... Let's see, what else have we done? Uh, okay, so I made this here. This is my Aura Cascade area. And what it's got, okay, you can't really tell. But I got my pump here. And then I go over to, and I have, uh, I have an Aura node here. And I'll just show you. I'll put it back. I have an Aura node there. And an Aura node up there, okay? But on this side... I did the same thing. An aura node there, and an aura node up there. So now, whenever I hit my pump, it uh, 
shoots out stuff to both sides so I can run my smelter and my processor both off of one piece of coal and I added some extra uh, aura to the pump in case it was an issue but it didn't seem to matter you don't even have to be close to it in order for it to eat the coal so I'll just do that and put this back the way that it was and there you go that's my doubling ore room and smelting room that's what I'm using for now because it's free and check this out look what I built cobble generator yeah baby so I started collecting cobble I went and found some lava and I made a transfer node transfer node which was uh, it wasn't too hard uh, stone chest a bunch of redstone with you know block and a couple of those and then I made a bunch of these pipes which are basically stone slabs glass and redstone and I made one so I could start getting some cobble generation now nah, it's not very good and of course I put a garden here so I'm making carrots because I so what I eat I eat the carrots this room is going to be uh, the first stage of my inter, um, equivalent exchange and that's what I was getting ready to build so what we're going to start with is we're going to build an aloodle so let's go back over here and type in aloodle or at least allude so we're going to make the base okay it's two stone and seven iron we now have an aloodle base I'm going to put the aloodle base over here I'm thinking right there isn't that cool looking now we need to make the top and we also need to make that other thingy yes the other thingy so let's go ahead and type in equiv lint exchange we need to make a calcinator and we need to make a glass bell and we need to make a research station and we need to make a book a tome of alchemical knowledge all right so we need the little bell the calcinator and the table do the little bell first and then the calcinator actually I put the calcinator on this side and the table in the middle Dun dun dun! There you go. So now we can make ash, verdant dust, azure dust, minimum dust, in the calcinator, and we can combine those to make other stuffages in the aludal. And then elsewhere in this room, this is also going to house our um, the infused stone thing that we build to start duplicating items. So that's 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 coming up soon. Anyway, I just wanted to show you what I have been doing, what I am working on, and that I am about to start my journey to equivalent exchange, which I'm hoping will make um, working through all of the projects we want to do easier and faster and stuff and things. Later. BRBs. Okay, we're back. So, we have started this process of making our uh, table thingy to for equivalent exchange and you can see inside here I have made nine inf ash infused stone and to do that all you really need to do is use an aloodle and get some ash which you create in a calcinator and some stone and just put stone on top and cook nine pieces and then I remember correctly, you got to lay down a pattern of nine of these, right? And then you use this chalk. But now I'm trying to remember how to increase the size of the chalk. I also created this book, the book Tome of a Chemical Knowledge, which I made in the Aludal with a minimum dust and a book. I got the books from the villages that I was pillaging. And I got the minimum dust for one of the two diamonds. I melted the, the, the minimum dust in the calcinator. I mean the diamond in the calcinator to get the minimum dust. And then that's how I got the book. The book is there. So now I'm just going to go away again until I can figure out how to make this grow. Because I can't remember the keystroke to do it. I've tried a few of the keys and I keep jumping around to different stuff. So instead of watching me like fail, I'll be RBs. And we're back. Okay, I figured it out. So... I was in here looking around. I'm like, okay, gotta go to my options and my controls. Here's a cool of an exchange. 
So I tried numpad 9, which is where I have charge set to. I don't know if that's default. I might have changed that. And voila, I now have a large circle. And I believe all I've got to do is right click. It's on there. And I believe I take this out of my hand. Oh, it's shift right click. Shift right click, right? Shift right click. There it is. Yes, I remembered. Now I've got a table. Now I can take my book out of here and move it to here until I can make another book which I probably could, but I don't want to waste my other diamond just yet. So, because I think I want to put my diamond in there so I can make diamonds. And that's going to be a lot of cobble to do that. Uh, but then I won't have to worry about it. Yeah, that's right. Cool. Sweet. Anyway, uh, that's what I wanted to show you. BRBs. And we're back with a little leg spike. So, I have memorized more stuff with my book. Yay. Go team. And... I started building spheres up. I'm going to see. Uh, I'm going to develop that way. Yeah. And the cool thing is, this clay is amazing. So, for equivalent exchange, each clay block is worth 258 energy compared to stone, which is worth one. I know. I know. It's just amazing. So, what I'm about to do is, I'm going to make a verdant condenser. To do that, I have to make a Galadin star and have some verdant dust and use my Loodle. I made a Surrey star. So I took a diamond, I melted it. I took ash and few stone, I threw it in a Loodle, and I have this Surrey star. Okay. To make the Galadin star, you need a 3x3 three three structure with ash and few stone and a large alchemical chest in the center. And then you right click the center of any side with the Surrey star and eight minimum dust, which are eight more diamonds, and then you will get the Galadin star. What I have currently is I've got one, two, three. I have 27 ash infused stone. Okay, so I'm going to build a three by three structure. with a large alchemical chest. Now, large alchemical chest. Let's go over that real quick. To make this, I needed to burn eight diamonds and a chest and then a little, and it created it. So luckily, this clay is worth so much that I can just knock out a bunch of clay and make diamonds. That's kind of how it works. How fortunate for me. Okay, so let's finish up this. Now all I need to do is get eight more minimum dust. Two or three more diamonds, and then I will have a, enough to do eight minimum dust. Put that in my inventory. Right click with the Suri star. And there you go. Put this in there. Now I can make diamonds. I have four diamonds now. Then we're going to burn eight diamonds. This doesn't sound right, does it? I'm gonna burn eight diamonds. We're probably running out of time here. Let's see. One, ten. I'm counting up the minutes that I've spent so far. Yep, we're probably getting close to running out of time. The last action I'll be able to do is probably create the Galadin star. So I've got this. Put this in my inventory. Get the star. Don't click on anything with the um, Surrey star until you get there because it actually will use its energy. So if I look at it, see how it has an exchange value of, of 8,194. Well, if you click on stuff, it uses it up somehow, or it did in, in version uh, of this mod pack 1.1. One, one. Oh, look at that. I have a Galen star. So the next piece is 8 for dust. All right, so we'll get eight greeny things. That will cook it and then we will have a verdant condenser and I'm going to hook the verdant condenser up directly in here so that the cobble comes in and it starts taking the cobble and making uh, stuff with better value. So what's coming up next? Well I'm not sure. I'm going to build something out here. It's going to be cool. I don't know what yet. Um, 
maybe something that looks cool, maybe a fountain or something. So that when I open the doors to go outside, I'm like, ah, oh, my fountain. It'll look good in this valley. The Valley of Destruction. Because that's where I live. This is my valley. I found it. I have inhabited it. And if anybody comes around, I will destroy all. Haha. <laughs> Alright. It should be done by now. I was just doing some soliloquy stuff to take up time while I was waiting for this to cook. Eight minimum dust. And then you need this, this, two of those. I put the gallon star on top, the eight minimum dust on the bottom, and I ran two oak planks because one's not enough to cook something. Or not planks. I keep calling these planks, they're slabs. You now have a verdant condenser. I will need another book. Get in there. Get in there. Be done in a second. So book on top. That there. We'll use another piece of wood. That'll give me a second book. It'll be attached to me as soon as I right click it, I believe. So right click it. Is my book. We will put the book in the condenser. We'll put the condenser in here. Dude, there's a dude like right outside. Ah, <gasps> that's a rogue android. I think I have to kill it. This is gonna be really sucky because I'm gonna die. But that's a rogue android. I've never seen one before, and I don't have any good weapons. I should probably make an iron sword or something real quick. I might just be able to talk to it. That would be awesome. Can I have a stick? I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Here, I don't need any of this stuff. Give me the stick back. I'll keep that. I don't want the torches. But I will take the sticks, things, and stuff. This is a treat. I have a sword. Dead yet? It has 17 hit points, 11 hit points. I killed it. Where's my drops? Ah, oh, it didn't give me anything. I'm so sad. I've never seen a rogue android before. That's awesome. That was totally awesome. Is there any more out here? No. Oh, but it's a skeleton. Maybe that's what those things are down there. I keep thinking they're like, you know, those characters they've added to the mod pack. But maybe they're rogue androids, like that guy right there. We have to, like, go on a hunt. We're going to go hunt rogue androids and slay all. Because that's, cause that's what we're going to do. That's right. Sweet. Well, now I have a... I, I killed him with my stone sword. I didn't even use the good sword. <sighs> Sweet. That's awesome. All right. Back to work. Boop. There you go. Replace it with this. And that is an exit-only spot. So, we're going to make adjustment. We're going to put it here. No. Yes, we'll put it here for now. And then I need to get a pipe, which I think is in here. That will run the cobble up. Now it's getting stuff. I can put the book here and I can tell it. Oh, I can actually put all this stuff in there too. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, and we're going to tell it to make. Mm, we have to put the item in we want it to make. Something that'll be worth a value. It's not going to be horrid. How about just this? Now, yeah, put this red clay. Red clay. That's not red clay. It's light gray stained clay. It's two hundred. It'll take two hundred fifty-six to make one, and in stacks of that. That's not bad. It goes. It's making it. I'm gonna have to get a faster system, but this will be constantly running. See, there's my first one. And it'll just continue to make it, and I'm good to go. Oh.
Well, well, well. What do we have here? Someone has moved into my valley, I see. Well, we're just gonna have to make it so he wants to leave. <laughs> Yes. Who is this stranger? Who is this person that invades my domain? We're just gonna have to show him a warm welcome. <laughs> you fool. You must never come into my domain. This is my valley. I was here first. <laughs> I think that's all we have time for today. That's right. I haven't really measured how much time I've spent recording this. I didn't spend a lot of time playing. Uh, I mean, I kind of knew what I wanted to do because of Season 1. And we're now in Season 2, and we got a new base. And I knew that Equivalent Exchange was going to be the way I wanted to go. We got a good start on it. We got our table. We got a bed. Uh, we've got some storage. Not very much. What else have we got? Um, oh, we got the Aura Cascade, which is going to become obsolete pretty quick because well it's got the um it's got the because we got equivalent exchange and you know we're only going to need it to make double ores until we get into mechanism cuz we're going to make I think this time we're going to make quintuple is that right quintuple ores that's right so anyway I hope you enjoyed the show like it yes click the like button you didn't do it last season do it this season that's right and after you click the like button, then tell all your friends, because you didn't do that last season either. So you need to tell your friends that this is actually a decent video to watch about Minecraft and stuff. And that this guy that you're looking at right now is really funny. Funny. Well, maybe not. But anyway, tell them anyway. You know what? Dare them to come watch it. Okay? Why am I begging for views? I'm not begging for views. Well, maybe I am. Anyway, you guys have a great evening, and I will see you on the next episode. Later, meeples.